through frequent visits to the marketplace, I began to be aware of a group of women caught in the sex trade. And as I had conversations with each of them, I would hear similar stories over and over. They would tell me things like, we've been sent away by a husband, by a family. They had little or no education. They had no marketable skills and often multiple children. Um, they were basically in desperate situations, just trying their best to survive. I came to Exodus when I dropped out of school because of financial issues. So I was just having nothing to do then just moving around the streets, hawking, looking for how to survive. They come here so that she can change their life to live what they are doing in the streets, selling themselves to get those small money. Because it can cause them danger to die. You can maybe get sickness like HIV. Others maybe you can be beaten and killed. And we gave them employment and began to teach them some of the skills uh, in construction work. They are working here and they are learning a lot because most of them, any of them, they have not gone through any technical work like a molding, building, putting high end seats in the roofs over, using anything like a hammer, screw, they don't know, but they are learning from here. And when I started to teach them construction, it was hard. It was a big, it was a challenge to me because they don't know how to read the measure, they don't know how to do many things, but I then have to teach them one by one. At Exodus, in general, we, we work as we learn many things. One of them is molding, shaving, and we also at times go with our paspalam, do plant if needed, and many others. We are working, we are molding bricks, we are molding poles, then we are learning how to build houses, roofing, what we are doing here. They step in and they do the work just like a man would do. And it's been amazing to watch that. And I think the women uh, really take pride in that. I think they take pride in the fact that they can do the work uh, that most other people would only consider man's work. We've developed a method of making construction blocks that are made of a mix of concrete and sand and other materials. And we've taught them how to construct buildings with those blocks. We've been able to teach them various other aspects of the, of the building construction process. And we hope that maybe one day we'll be able to put in the field Uganda's first all-female construction crew. Women trained uh, to be able to put up a, a, a house or a small business building from digging the first foundation ditches to handing the owner the keys so that he can walk into a completely finished facility. Like at first some women used to say we cannot roll the wheelbarrow. We can this work, you say, we don't know how to mix the concrete. We are doing, but now you can see that men are now planting, women are rolling wheelbarrows freely and they're not liking it. So they are so encouraging and I know they will be better than men. Another aspect of our ministry is the um, spiritual development and discipleship of the women. So one of my highlights of, during the week is doing Bible study with the women. I began by getting each of them a Bible and from there went to passages like Psalm 119 and Psalm 1 to teach them the significance and the power of the Word of God and the immeasurable and practical value of committing it to memory. Yeah, it's more than a joke. Part of joke, but many things to learn, like about God, so I get to know about God more. We are doing Bible studies, we are memorizing Bible verses, which is also helping us to change our life, living in a godly life. If you remember the word where Psalm 119, how can a young man keep his way pure? If you read that one, well, if you memorize that one, can, you can forget when somebody done you a bad thing. They begin to have a hope they've never had. They begin to dream about things they've never been able to dream about before. One of them said the other day, I, I dream that someday I'll build my own house. Um, something that probably she would have never even considered. Coming here was a great opportunity to me, at least I can see I am. In some years to come, I will be somebody.